Hi, this is Jennifer Riccinelli, Editorial Director of Stoneworld. And today I'm with Joshua Gatewood of NFM Custom Countertop in Omaha, Nebraska, and his two of his staff team, uh, Gary and Mike. Welcome. Thank you for having us. You're welcome. And I have to say congratulations. Is it Josh? You can go by. <laughs> uh, sure, yeah. Um, as you are one of our nominees for our Stoneworld 2023 Fabricator of the Year. So congratulations. Thank um, you. So I just thought if you'd like our voters to know a little bit about you and your company. Uh, yeah, go ahead, Mike. <laughs> yeah, so we uh, we were founded in January of 2020. Uh, brand new machines, uh, Northwood. Uh, we've got a lot of guys that uh, have collectively come from some other companies. Um, a lot of experience. Uh, we've got installation crews in Omaha. We've got installation crews in Kansas City. We've got a crew in Des Moines. So we service a wide range of, of the uh, Midwest region. Um, Josh, do you want to talk about the shop? Yeah, we, we run a pretty high production and volume, obviously tracking a lot of, of good KPIs and trying to end up driving those, um, as well as uh, working with a wide variety of, of different, um, you know, uh, business partners and whether they're walk-in customers or builders or uh, commercial builders, it, it's, it's, uh, it's a great, great experience here. Good. Now, Josh, since you opened in 2020, you said, um, mm -hmm. did you have prior experience in the stone industry or did you come yeah. from? Yeah, so I, I came from uh, up in the Corian industry, uh, started on that and then worked into some other stone shops. Mm -hmm. And then uh, right around when COVID ended up happening, uh, NFM was a little bit closer to home and was a new challenge, a new shop uh, and uh, decided it was a, a a new challenge to end up starting up something new and, and joined in with Gary and, and Mike and the team here. And, and we did a, we did a great job of, uh, of, of bringing this together. You know, we're finishing out year three and, you know, 30 months of, of fabricating. So it's a, uh, it's a good time. That's great. Um, so what would you want uh, people watching this to know most about what you do um, as a company, you know, as a whole, and you as a fabricator when it comes to your customers and your work culture and all of that. Um, Gary, I think you're you're great on the work culture side of it. G Gary uh, has been with the uh, NFM for 46 years. Is that right, Gary? Wow. When you measure everything, yes. So uh, 26 is an actual employee. Uh, I was a subcontractor, uh, floor covering installer for the first 21, but I've watched NFM grow. That says something. That's a long time. So that, that's great. Yeah, I kind of made a career out of the place. <laughs> cool. The culture, really? at NF, the culture at NFM, Gary can speak to a lot. It's, um, it is, uh, it, 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 uh, it, go ahead, Gary. You're going to be better at that. <laughs> uh, well, at the top of our list, uh, we're constantly looking at uh, improvement, continuous improvement uh, with the do it right the first time mentality in place. Uh, it's uh, what uh, allowed the company to grow over the 80 plus years that it's uh, been growing. Um, and we are adding stores in other cities as well. Uh, but all of that uh, is part of the NFM custom countertop culture as well. Uh, teamwork, uh, customer uh, loyalty, not just satisfaction. Uh, and all of that comes through uh, doing it right the first time. And if you don't, how do you fix it? That, that's important. And how many employees do you have? I think right now is it 52? When you look at the entire organization, uh, shop is counting you 18 or 19. Mm -hmm. That's great. So, um, well, Josh, what what does it mean for you to be nominated as Stonewall Fabricator of the Year? Well, being nominated, I think that's just kind of, uh, you know, makes you feel good about all the work you ended up putting in, um, knowing that, uh, we put together a, a great team here and, uh, you know, like Gary said, we're constantly 
building with our customer base, with customer loyalty, our teamwork, you know, we're putting our customer first and our employees right behind them. And, and afterward, we're kind of thinking about uh, continuing to grow the business and in, in those ways as well, too. So um, it just kind of reinforces, uh, you know, some of the good decisions we've ended up making. Um, and it, it's, a, it's a great honor to end up having a nomination for that. Great. Well, we wish you the best of luck. And before we close, I don't know if anybody has anything else to add. It sounds like you have a great operation there and um, we're happy to have you as a nominee. Um, and like I said, the nominations will, uh, the voting period will open Monday, November 27th and run through, I believe, Friday, December 22nd. All right. All right. Well, good luck, everyone. Thank you for taking the time to talk with me. And Thank you. We'll uh, be in touch and talk again soon. Thanks, Thank Jennifer. you. Okay. Bye. Bye. Bye.